Cheers, Brian. After a record breaking round one in terms of crowds, okay, are delighted to have record number of season tickets sold and the home sections are sold out tonight. Good contingent here from Leeds. Leeds looking to make it two wins from two for the first time since 2019, but they've lost three of the last five visits here. The confidence will be high after that hard fought win over Salford last weekend, who will keep their unbeaten record. And a slight delay as the ball falls off the kicking tee here. It's quite a chilly night. Here at the Sewell Group Craven Park. Round two for the Betfred Super League is off and running. High ball taken by Lewis. And here goes King, who started off, off the bench last week. And he takes the first carry. And two teams looking to get off to a really good start here. Yeah, good evening, Mark, and good evening to everyone at home as well. You know, these two sides are on the up, isn't it? In 2024, they both tell you that they're, that they're looking to make progression this season. Hull KR with 14 errors last week. Willie Peters will want that fixed up. And for the Leeds Rhinos, of course, only five wins on the road last year. I'm sure that they'll need to pick that up as Lytton makes half a break. Yeah, good metres already from the Robins. May in at Dubby half, last one. They'll go high to the sky. And here is an early tester for the youngster on his full debut, Alfie Edgell, late call up. We heard that breaking news from Ron Smith and a, a great start for him as Leeds looking to counter. We saw this last week as they make their way forward. Here goes Momorowski, but there's an error here. And Leeds pushing the button early on, but they come up with an error. Well, we saw this a number of times last week. Leeds Rhinos willing to move the ball inside of their own half and on that occasion you just get it slightly wrong and the door of opportunity opens up inside the first 90 seconds for Hull KR a scrum centre field 30 metres away an opportunity to see what they've got they needed to fix that up I didn't think you know it was perhaps their best of showing yes it was round one but they do need to be a little bit better okay that's the ball now then Oh, Smith, we saw looking on from the coach's box here. Hold, We're hoping that his hold. side can defend well early on as Hall Straight gets up, the ball. And it's driven forward here. Rovers inside the 20 for the first time tonight. Litton in at dummy half. Swings the ball across field. King will take it in. Powerful drive from him, 11 metres away. Options to the left. That's where they're going to go now. Here is Lewis, takes it and hands the ball off and they're about four. seven meters Three, away two, here Tanganoa is Hold wrapped up as they're going to swing the ball back center field the robins moving it across the back line here bachelor strings things up tackle made last one leads so far so good one more to survive what can the robins do here they're going to try and run it can they get the ball away no, they can't, and that will be the uh, handover. Let's get down to pitch side there. Jenna Brooks has got some news. Yeah, evening, Mark. Uh, just wanting to let everybody uh, know how cold it is here. It's currently five degrees. It feels like zero degrees. When the players came out, they were visibly cold as well. No doubt they'll be warming up soon enough. Cheers, Jenna. It's definitely big cold weather tonight, but a good confidence boosting defensive stand there car from Leeds Rhinos yeah sure you know Hull KR they saw it last week as well a number of players dropping back rowers off dropping middlemen through that middle third of the field trying to catch and challenge perhaps defenders switching off but you're right Mark Leeds Rhinos stood up to the occasion there and they did but there's an error there and the Rovers players will celebrate well not the best start a couple of mistakes early on. Just see, just loses control. And it's a disappointing mistake from the Frenchman Mikel Goudemont. Right in the front row, there's Willie Peters. He did dedicate that derby win in round one to Rob Crossland last week, and our thoughts with his family and friends. So, another chance set for the Robins early on here. Centre field they are. Litton gets it from the base. Oh, it's put down. Error number one there for Opacek. You'll be disappointed with that. That's a basic error from the home side. Yeah, straight off the base of the scrum as well. 
It's just relieves any kind of pressure. We want to put these rhinos under. We can bring a sigh of a relief, can the rhinos? Well, Leeds have made a couple of errors in their own half and have yet to be punished by Willie Peters' side. And the enemy, mate! Mikey! Heading Both sides quite Walk rightly off. felt there was a lot more Wally. to come attacking wise. Surely well freed the scrum. And the yeah. Rhinos will try and bring it. It's noticeable already, isn't it? The pitch is cutting up quite Please. heavily underfoot. Could be a tricky night. Go, they did well to hang on to that ball there. It's carried forward by Bentley, elevated from the bench to a starting position. Move to square all in. Go. Get myself back in the here. Line speed. On the red and white, Sangare trying to power his way forward. He's a tough cookie to get to ground and he's still on his feet. And that allows Akers to jump out and Akers pitches some meters downfield. And now Leeds looking to just kick him behind. Frawley to the corner, Hanley's giving chase. Oh, there's an awkward moment there. A slip and it's a potential error it is. Leeds have got it back here. He just slipped Hiku, didn't he, as he it's came across. And Leeds have got it back. And then now a big chance, and they're going to get a penalty. And there could be someone... Yeah, he's got... Has he got the bin here? Yeah, I think so. No, he took an eternity, Mark, to get out of that rock. And it's rightly so. He's trying to, to kill any kind of momentum the Rhinos have. He's claiming that he was trapped in. But Jack Smith, he gave him enough time to get out of that. He just took too long. An awkward slip from him and the dislodge of the ball under pressure from Hadley. You right just see time and time again, you can almost see how long he takes to get out of this rock. There's no way his arms trapped in there, I'm not having that. Well, he didn't exactly cover himself in glory last week, Peter Hiku, and he's in the bin early on here, so leads with a big chance. Up against 12, we'll take it forward. Goudamond is wrapped up. First Six away. Big opportunity here for the Rhinos. They'll keep it close to the post, and Smith takes it forward. It was his assist for Sam Lissoni last week that won the game for Leeds. Well, they're a metre out here. And they're going to that right-hand side now with Croft. Croft drops the ball back on the angle, sidestepping run, but it's so difficult. You can see the huge chunks coming out of the field here. And a lot of rain in this part of the world. Ball across, not the best. We picked up on the bounce. Little dribble kick through. Should be dealt with at the back. And okay, uh, survive eventually. A bit of head scratching that one there. It was a loose pass from Frawley, wasn't it? And Croft decides to kick early in the tackle count on play three. I think that's a bit of a let-off for Kay. They back it up with a penalty as well. well it's Nile level who's at full back. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was close. <laughs> Just about held on, but Rowan Smith will be really disappointed having got the home side penned on their own line. Yeah. An easy out given. Yeah, no, obviously, I mentioned there that tackle on player three. Brody Croft senses there's a bit of space in behind there, but with a man in the bin, there's an opportunity to build pressure, not perhaps look for the point straight away. He's kicked, good solid carry from him. Ireland International, all centre field with Minchella, finds Lewis. Here now, cutting back against the angle again is Tanganoa, wrapped up 40 away. It's all the Evidence of what an asset he can be last week as the ball again carried forward. Almost a line break there. Really strong run from Whitbread. But this has been a decent set. The forwards are laying a platform. Another carry from King. Inside the 20. Last tackle. Litton looks around him. He get the ball away. Michella finds Lewis. Lewis goes through the hands and it's put down on that far side by Gildar. I think we've seen already. Yes, there's been a couple of errors, but the pitch underfoot is treacherous at the minute. Yeah, and that's perhaps why there's a penalty given away. Not square at market. But I don't think that's an excuse for some of the errors that we're seeing, Mark. You know, basic fundamentals of the game being able to catch the ball the ball's moved out from Lewis and it's just it's off the chest of Gildart 
Well, it's not the first time tonight that we've seen players not looking at the ball. You've got to keep your eye on it to catch it. I certainly have. Sangare, nice carry. Jay, square George. Oh, wait, lad, wait. Go. And center field to Frawley. Smith gets it away. Here is Edgel. Got 20 minutes as a sub in the last round of last season against Castleford. Now he starts. Ball now works out wide onto that far side. Here's Newman. Slips the ball away to Roberts. Roberts looking for support. Cuts back inside. And he's dragged down. 15 away. Best hands we've seen tonight from either side. Leads 15 out. Come in centre field. Croft will get it away to Frawley. Frawley goes short. Did they have the numbers over on this left hand side? Maybe they did. But Rollers. Robinson man down, ball now goes back across, they've got numbers on that far side if they execute here, they went for glory, Bentley's tackle, gets the ball away, big chance here, ball back on the angle, going for the line, and Leeds do score the try, Harry Newman it is who's crashed over, the Robins protest, but Leeds celebrate, they made the man advantage count, the late offload, and there's Newman over, and Leeds lead on his 100th career appearance, Harry Newman gets the opening try. Yeah, Leeds Rhinos doing what they do best, keeping the ball alive, keeping people moving. Brodie Croft had a number of quality touches in that set, but the short ball there to Bentley, who comes up with a terrific offload back. And then Harry Newman back on the grain, some desperate defence from the Robins, but not desperate enough to deny Newman the try. He has a little bit of work to do here. But that pass there, the offload from Bentley, the composure and patience from him. And Brody Croft just drops Harry Newman back under and puts it on a plate for him. 4-0, Rhinos. Good start. He just got a bump on the back of his head for his troubles as well, Harry Newman. But he's OK. And a tight leads huddle. This is a chance here for Reese Martin. We mentioned that the Robins said woes off the kicking tee. Reese Martin had no such trouble last week. Five from five for the Papua New Guinean international. And this ten in from touch will be an early tester for him to make it six points to nil. Strikes it well, straight through the middle. The Reese chat. Emerges from the Rhinos end, it's six points to nil. Yeah, cool as you like, Reese Martin. Averages eight points every game in the 105 appearances he's playing, but it was this subtle ball movement, keeping the ball alive, making the defenders keep moving. And Harry Newman there, some desperate defence from Tanganoa and Elliot Minchella, trying to get across in time, but that space was too big for the man of that quality in Harry Newman to score. So the Robins restart. This is allowed to bounce. That was risky. Picked up in the end, and Leeds will be happy just to get their hands back on the ball here. But they made a couple of errors early on, the visitors, but they've got the first points. And here is Reese Martin carrying strongly. Move to Whitbread makes the tackle. Go to. Sangare again. Good couple of runs already, Mark. 12 minutes in. Almost half of that, an eyebrow raised with Gudamon and Sangare starting through the middle of the field, but they've, they've shown up well so far. Here's Brody Croft, again finds Newman, Newman slides across the field, looks for an offload and finds one, now they're giving it away to Rhys Martin, finds Momorowski, he gets it quickly away to Hanley, Hanley sidesteps inside, avoids one but can't avoid the second and third defenders, but Leeds are making good meters here, they're using the width of the field well. Frawley gets it away. Gunamon pumps the legs. That's another tackle, good carry. Leads are finding meters Swear easy to come by. Ackers, last tackle, gets it to Frawley. Frawley the ball over the top to Hanley. Hanley stabs a kick down the line, but it rolls into touch. Not the ending they were looking for, the Rhinos. But it's another good set as Pedahiku has got a couple of minutes left in the bin. Yeah, largely off the back of the work of Mikel Gunamon and Sangare just laying that platform mark to allow quick rooks. And in the end, you know, Frawley throws the ball out to Hanley. Yes, he'd like to have done better on the end of that but look at where they're turning the ball over they're asking 90 meters Ryan Hall last week 145 meters and seven tackle bus for him as well so keep an eye on Ryan Hall trying to get through some good work tonight yeah. 
It's interesting last week. Rhinos only two. led for Three 10 right minutes there. in that game. Hold. Go to. Play They're in front here early on. What can Three. All KR do? Three. Come. Ten meters hold. To combat play. that play early advantage. Ball to King. Four it straight Straight forward. Good tackle made from oh, Martin and Akers. Better play the ball. Got on a roll. Good hit goes in there. Nice tackle. They're going to have to kick from halfway. They're going high. They're testing out the youngster. Alfie Etchell looked for a moment. He wasn't underneath it, but he got himself there. He'll be pretty happy with his opening couple of touches so far. Yeah, been solid at the back so far. What I liked about it as well. As soon as he catches his ball, look, eyes up. Straight into attacking mode. He scored a couple of tries in the Academy Grand Final against St Helens a couple of seasons ago, but this is slightly different. His Super League full debut. Didn't know he was playing until just before kickoff. Here now is Akers, gets it away to Smith, always probing, always asking questions. Just over halfway. Akers is out of dummy half six again, called for lead, so the Robins just. Having a few oh. disciplinary issues at the moment, and Atkins was yeah, keen to take the base. meters on offer. Here's Frawley. Gives it to Croft. Croft will take it forward. Now, and he's tackled 25 square. away. So Leeds looking to, to get their second score of the night. Here's Frawley. Sangari is their willing runner. Runs at Lytton. Bit of a mismatch, but Lytton Release. held on. Atkins looking. Options left, but goes right. Here's Smith now. Uses Bentley as a decoy. Four. Good defence. And the Red and Whites. Five off their own line, though. Go. And Leeds Neville's looking. Neville's little short play kick, play and it's not collected. Up. But can they get back in the field of play? Lewis has got it. He's oh, evaded oh. two. He's evaded three, but he couldn't get past Roberts. Well, that would have been Houdini-like from Mikey Lewis. But the kick causes problems. It certainly does. That little slide through for Akers Bentley in pursuit. It's Mikey Lewis who does terrifically well to get rid of Croft and company. But it's Lewis Roberts that just traps him in goal and forces another repeat set. As Peter Hicku looks patiently on the sidelines, waiting to get back onto the field. And there he is. So it's 13 against 13. The disadvantage costs them six points. Sangare traps the ball and brings it forward. And what else it did as well, Mark, in that time period, it just allowed the Rhinos to just get some quick play of the ball, poking the nose through, winning that collision, and momentum is so key as Jez Litton tries to win it back. Ball dumped on the ground, Croft is collared on the back of his shirt, and now forward come Leeds again. Three Robins in on the tackle, having to defend inside their own 20 again, Akers waits. Gets it away to Frawley, finds Croft, Croft short pass, looking for Bentley, balls on the ground. And the Robins survive. And they call it a forward pass. Yeah, James Bentley, he looks bemused as to why. It's just a good solid contact, he's claiming that Mikey Lewis has ripped that. Right in the middle, shot clock on. What matters not now, Jack Smith decides that it's head and feet to Hull Kingston Rovers. Here's James Bentley looking for a 50th career try. He seems to have been stuck on 49 for a while. You've been hoping tonight's the night. A new deal with Leeds last season as Lytton gets the ball away. But we mentioned the field already. You don't want to be doing too much defending down your own end of the field in these conditions. Nice run. Two. Up and square, it's quiet, come. isn't it, here tonight? Oh, I was expecting wait. a really raucous atmosphere, obviously the early try. An emotional night, of course, for Hull KR tonight. Given the event to the last 24 hours. As now they'll come forward again. Okay. No nonsense, isn't it? Yeah, it just crosses over the halfway line with a direct carry. Hull KR perhaps need a bit more of that. There's Minchella ball playing now with May. Fine, he gets it away. Here's Hicko into the line. We know that he's got an offload in his game, but can't find one here. Fifth tackle. He'll play the ball now. May's going to swing it across. Here now, the kick goes high. Across field, it hangs on the wing. This one, this is a tough one. Rovers will back, bat it back. There's a little kick from Gilda. And there's Edgel again. Edgel 
right place, right time. Inventive play from Gildar, trying a little chip over the top down the short side, but Edgel there to swallow it up. Leeds, oh. good carry there. Tanganoa okay, felt the impact there, right. didn't he? Shan Lee, Cheers, two tries last week. Another good carry. Oh, I do me, think the Leeds are making some quite easy oh, meters at the no moment. More. Yeah, they are. They're winning that middle oh, third of the field for sure. Oh, now that, that will help. All kicks and rollers, oh. kick blocks, and there's a big fend from Ryan Hall. A big get out of my way there from Ryan Hall on James Bentley. Oh, yeah, that kick got deflected. Set restart, so they'll have it here inside the 30. Litton waits. Hulkar looking for a response. Take it in, Whitbread in front of the post. Litton waits. Gets it away to May. May thinks about the miss out pass, fights Tanganoa. Tanganoa to an edge, just couldn't get the pass away. But they're inside the 10. And they're knocking firmly on the door here as they move it back towards the middle of the field. Tackle is made Release. right in front of the post. Litton looks, shoots out, gets it to the right-hand side. Big dummy, short pass here, could be in. Whitbread going for the line. They just got underneath it. Don't think he could get that down. And he's held up. Great tackle on the line. I think it's Cam, Cam Smith, Smith who's under yeah. there. Yeah, Tyrell May just snaps hard off his right foot. Introduces Whitbread back through the middle, challenging defenders clocking off, but Cam Smith's there. Last one, they're going to go to the boot. They are, a little dribble kick, doesn't break the line, he's picked up here, and it could be a chance, Marley, the ball knocked down. And the referee will say that will be a knock on. Cam Smith's not happy with this. A real scruffy end to the set there. I hadn't played at that point, but I think he's going to go back. Leeds Rhino scrum, but what about this there? Cameron Smith underneath that ball, denying Hull KR a certain drive through Whitbread. We heard Rowan Smith asked earlier on about Cameron Smith and his being the Leeds captain. It's actions like that. And speak so loudly, and coach looks on. And you see the message, he's happy with that. It was only Luke Yates last year that made more tackles than Cam Smith in the competition. Just shows that able to get under that and deny that certain try. Those are things that feature in the highlight reel the next day at training if Lee Rhinos go on to win this game. Yeah. Two very, very strong 13s on show tonight. Minchella for the Robins, Smith for Leeds. Croft in at dummy half. Bentley tries to push his way. Lewis is in on the tackle. Bentley eventually succumbs. As well to hang on to that. <laughs> Two players there in Bentley and Lewis who know how to get under each other's skin. And everybody else is for that matter. And he works its way towards the centre of the field. Over a quarter of the game gone already. Now the fans find their voice here. The Rovers are back inside their own half. Frawley's going to go high. Tester at the back. Pick underneath it. Did well in the end. I think that just swirled on him a little bit late on there. Just moved in the last sort of second, didn't it? An error at the play of the ball there. Robbins working the centre of the field. Here goes King again. Wrapped up, Donaldson is into the action. All kick from the 40 metre line. Edgel is back, does well to stay in the field of play. Looks to come back. That was a good kick, but a good return as well. Solid defensive set as well from the Rhinos, Mark, asking Mikey Lewis to kick that ball from around the 40-metre line. It's always a good sign for coaches to know where they are in games when their opposition are kicking from inside of their own 40-metre zone. It means you're winning the territory battle. We saw that big 
shift to the left edge for that wonderful Hanley shot last week. Leeds have lined it up a couple of times tonight. There goes Donaldson. Testimonial ongoing for him. Made a great Super League servant. Former Robin as well. Yeah. 79 appearances Five, over shots. at Hull KR. 15 tries in three seasons, Mark. And you're right, he's been a terrific servant for the game. High kick. Pressure on at the back. Neville's as well. Ball. Look at the divot there. That's like your golf there, Kyle. <laughs> You're getting better. Sorry, good. It's a good run and a great offload. Better from the home side. What can they do here? They'll work it across the field. Hall is going to be wrapped up. Move on the Harry Square. No, he pulled it back in. Oh, on a tight Sorry. night like tonight. And off some offloads are going to be Third. crucial. This was a fine square. one. Now they're over their own 40. Four James off the ball. Ten. Go for. Too many attacking opportunities yet. Hulk out as they work the centre of the field. Michella gets the ball away. The ball fight to Hiku. Did well to hang on to that pen of Hiku. Coming across the field. Frawley's all over him. Held. Five release marked. Square mark. Again, that's the fifth tackle and they're only a fraction over the halfway line they'll go downfield this time they'll let it bounce and that could cause one or two problems at the back but once again he's there the young fella well he might not have had a chance for any pre-match nerves but if he had any they're not showing on the field sometimes that's the best way just thrown straight in there 25 minutes in and a solid game from the youngster so far lewis roberts now with three players on his back still pinching a couple of meters James, James! You like the treat. Coming forward again. Another good carry. Third Just look the at the amount James. of meters, though, Teddy Mark, that Leeds Rhino Three. seem to be making oh. every time they carry the ball. You just see again Harry Newman skirting, looking for options outside, but it's another Four. 10, 15 meter square. carry, Mark. Oh, meters are coming Go. rather the too five. easily at the moment as they're going to attack down the short side. Four. Croft, oh, it is, who's That's eventually tackle. wrapped up. Look at that kick. stat. Way over 100 Five more kick. carry metres so far for Leeds. Yeah. High I kick. No real pressure this time, but if you're going to turn it over, that's not the worst place to do so. Yeah, fantastic play there from James Bentley. And again, he doesn't just happy with that one chase. He's then in at market, but he gives away a penalty. It's too long. And just as I was praising him, he goes and undoes all that good work and just relieves and invites. Pull KR out of their own end. Sure Terrific Marker, work from Marker. That extra half a step, okay, mate. It's just a fraction too long from James Bentley, who you mentioned that new deal he signed. He's probably yet to find that form that had him here Go. from St. Helens. And hopefully, he'll be looking for a big year. Will Bentley, because a quality player, a real competitor. Hells, move one square. Go on. Robbins, have it again. Nice carry there is Soasso Son off the bench. Oh, the big boy brought into the action by Willie Peters. Oh, the beautiful ball. hands. And away they go, straight up the middle. Great tackle from Edgell. Brings Whitbread down, but that was a line break. Here come the Robins now. Going through the hands. Hiku into the line is tackled. Ten away. But leads for the first time will bust open up the middle there. Better from the home side. Here now is May. May gets it away. Minchella drops the ball back on the angle. Another the strong ball. carry. Last tackle. Have they got numbers to the left row? The Robins. That's where they're going now. Ball missed out pass. Big chance here. Big dummy. Can they get the ball away? It's dumped on the ground. It went backwards. It's still the last tackle. Here's Jess Lynn now. Lynn's going to stab the kick through. It's played up by Leeds. It went backwards. And the Rhinos survive. Well, don't they do so well, the Rhinos there. And it's Bentley who gets in there for the cover tackle with help from Edgell. Last-ditch efforts. Win. Oh, there's a hand in there, Kyle. Mate. Yeah. Could that have been six again, possibly? Perhaps so. They're going to have to flip the mindset, the whole KR, and come up with a defensive set to restrict these metres that they're able to gain so easily. And Sammy Sony Lange on. Sammy Sony. Sammy Sony. Wow. I think you'll be quite pleased with that. He uh, will be, yeah. Boy, Sam Lasani. <laughs> be happy with that. Square James! 
That's one on the halfway oh, line. And Leeds are going to put boot to yes. ball. Tackle five. Clean. The pass down up. And taken at the back. And the Robins have it back. Stand, right, look at this then. Leeds on Where? top in Go. possession, on top in completion rates, way on top in metres. And obviously, okay, I've had to do more tackles. So all the key stats from the main one as well as the scoreboard, yeah. all in favour of the visitors tonight. All in favour of the Rhinos. A uh, 6 0 lead, you can understand why. You know, sometimes you don't need those stats. Your very naked eye can tell you the story of the half. It's Jez Litton now, he tries to speed up the rock. On the shirt. Go for. Bentley's starting to get involved, isn't he? Four leads defensively. Here's May, gets it away now. Have they created an opportunity on this right hand side? Well, it's a good run, but the tackle is made. 20 away. And if they tackle again, they're going to kick high. The chases are coming. They're inviting the fullback into the contact. He doesn't quite make it. Can they get the ball away? No, they can't. And Kicks and overs again can't quite end the set as they want to. Yeah, but the Rhinos are just turning up. They're finding a way to get involved in a tackle. You know, it may not be the most prettiest, but they're finding a way. And that'll be pleasing Rowan Smith. Go on. Well, the carry forward by Ash Hanley has had a really big start to this game. Go two. Leeds leading. Three. Just joined us, Harry again. Newman with a try. Came inside Go. 10 minutes after Pedahiku was sent to the bin early on. That's clear, clear, third. That's it. Square James. Quite tight. Two teams who both won in round one. Frawley gets it away. Last tackle out, Jesse. Leeds this time can't Go quite five. get up to halfway. They'll go down the short Wait, side. Oh, there's it, pressure on Frawley there. He got the kick Let's away. Dealt with comfortably at the back. Frawley's helped him backfield up onto his feet there. It's a good return from the Robins. Yeah, brilliant work from the number eight, Jesse Sue, just putting that kick pressure on Frawley, which allows Hiku to catch the ball. And off the back of that, they've given away another penalty coming out of their own end. Mikey Lewis will certainly find a bit of purchase on this kick. It does so well. 25 metres game with boot. And the Rhinos from being in a decent position are now 20 metres away, defending their own try line. Good first Help! carry, though. Really? Start the set with the Whitbread. Run. Off, He's been good son. tonight yeah. so far. Here now Two. is Sue, he's wrapped up. Lynn looks to his left, that's where he's going now to May. May will get the ball away to Lewis, ball back on the angle. Here's Tanganoa, backing his way towards the line, they're five away here. Quick play of the ball, danger here for the Rhinos. The Robins can't get to the edge, tackle May. They just missed the kick, the right edge there. Michella wanted to introduce somebody, but there's no one home. Here now is Lynn again. Finds May, good defence, back as it was with a shot with Bentley. Fifth tackle, they're going to dummy and come back towards the post. Little cover kick through, hits the post, and they are over. Jesse Sue, the big man, who's got it down. And Jack Smith has one look, checks with his touch judge and says it is a try. And the Robins are right back in the game. To the delight of the whole crowd and Willie Peters. Yeah, Jesse Sue. A neat little pickup of Jez Litton's kick, his short kick through the first line of defence. And it finds that left post. And Jesse Sue, he just pushes through. Wanted the bounce, so the ricochet gets him and brings with that try Hull KR straight back into this contest. You'd imagine for all money, straight in front of the posts. The issues that they had in the goal kicking department last week, Mark, well, and almost at my bottom dollar that Jez Litton will be able to slice this one straight through and make it six all locked in. Oh, well, we saw him kicking in the warm up, Jez Litton. He got a few, and there were a few ironic cheers from the Robins fans over on the far side here, but he wouldn't have wished for an easier assignment than this one. This to level it up then. And this does go through the middle. Big cheer.
are our silver of Craven Park. They have kicked the goal. But it was uh, Sue who got the try underneath the post. Six points apiece. Yeah. And all off the back of the Rhinos penalty as OKR were coming out of their own end. A neat little bit of deception there from Jez Litton showing one way and slicing that kick through. That little decoy, that little rock of the hips to the left-hand side just means that young Edgel bites it, goes all, goes to the right-hand side and the space is there and look, he gets lucky off that pose but that man in picture, Jesse Sue, the 31-year-old, he won't be bothered, he's on the board. He enjoys playing against Leeds, his only other Robins try came last season and the 2012 home win over Leeds, so... He's happy. Now, stay on your mark, Mikey. Now, Go. James, you're okay. Can James, the Robins turn no, what was a deficit into an advantage as we go to the oh, final few oh. minutes here? Lewis in at dummy half. That was a scruffy play of the ball, and that is going to be pulled up. An incorrect play of the ball, and that's frustrating, isn't it? I mean, just got level. Yeah, only Gildar, a couple of errors so far to his game this evening you just see as he plays the ball he takes a tumble forward you've got to be able to stood up solid regain your feet he shakes the head but they've now got some defensive work to do inside the final five minutes we expected a tight tussle that's exactly what we're getting here leads eighth last year only five away wins for them in the super league last season this would be a bit of a statement of intent if they were to come here to a top four side from last season and pick up a vital away win early in the season. Ball now with Croft, swings it back on the inside. The Sony is wrapped up, 10 away. Plenty of red and white shirts in attendance there as Akers waits. Will swing it to Frawley. Frawley now gets it away. Cap switched. Oh, lovely short pass. Good defence though from May, needed to be oh, as well. Chaos, Strong square. challenge. Leeds looking to go back in front. They race off the line and they get to Smith. Good work. Move. One get more square, to survive. Yeah. Or will square, the Rhinos no go back in front? They're going across to that far side. Lovely little dribble kick through, but it's well picked up on that far side, and Hull KR's defence survives. Yeah, Brody Croft just looking to slide it through for Bentley. We saw a couple of moments earlier, Akers doing something the same. We've obviously identified that the space there to behind to play. Hull KR, they answer it, and they look to clear their own end. It's Gildart. 42 metres away, the crowd on the far side of the field are wanting the referee's help, but none forthcoming. Ball is knocked out, and that will be play on. Or will it? Yeah, I think Akers works hard from marker. He just does enough to dislodge that ball. It's a loose carry. Right, let's uh, head down then for an observation pitch side with Jenna Brooks. Yeah, Mark, Leeds have made two interchanges, Hulk KR just one. Obviously, we're approaching uh, the half now, and as everyone can see, it is an extremely heavy pitch out there. So it appears to me that perhaps both head coaches are saving their fresh legs for the second half. Yeah, great point from Jenna. It's going to get tough the longer this game goes on. Mikey! Croft is tracked to the ground by Lewis. The referee's oh, awarded a six again there. Didn't like the contact from Lewis as the ball carried forward. Plenty of time left in the first half here for Leeds. Don't need to force anything just yet. As they go forward with Smith, who's been heavily involved again for the Rhinos. Akers waits, gets it away. Third. Oh no, Jazz! Centre field will jump out to this near side. Frawley beats one, but he's wrapped up. Four. Out of square, A couple of tackles square left there. Go for. Akers will go to Donaldson. Donaldson go keeps it alive. They've got numbers here if they can get the ball out wide. Little sidestepping One's run. Mitchell couldn't quite get through the line. Fifth tackle. Leeds come back to centre field. They're going to kick high across the field. The Robins come out to try and claim it, and claim it they will. And Evolds off the touchline. Great work from him. Yeah, great take from Nile Evolds. A quality debut for him last week. 
two try six tackle busts as well and on that occasion he shows what he can do in the air and just takes it so well and just denies the threat of the rhinos off the boot of Bro uh, croft maybe just lack the depth didn't it the kick there yeah. maybe to trouble the backs i think they've done a good job on brody croft so far this evening there's no doubt he'll come into play at some point there's a one leg twist at the end of this first 40 minutes as the ball moved wide up a check racked up fifth tackle to get to his feet may is gonna go high it'll go downfield oh that was risky he died forward he never quite looked like he was gonna get that and hulk and i are gonna get one late chance here the full debutant the first error he's made just hesitated a moment too long yeah he just looked outstretched for so long during that and it's unfortunate for him. Alfie Edgel, he's been terrific so far. And with 65 seconds on the clock, could that be costly? Maybe it's an off the bench. In the last season. Now he's in the heat of the Super League battle. Oh, almost an error there. Lewis. Well, it looked like it was a planned move, but it was a planned move that went wrong. And now there's a high shot comes in here. Donaldson is involved. And Jack Smith here might have a decision to make. Well, the players were quickly involved there. Well, this is a plan move that almost went wrong. Lewis has done well to hang on to that. Ball comes free. Gildart collects it. And there. Oh. Gildart. And he does, he catches him high, there's no doubt about it. And from what we've seen so far, that doesn't look great. And it could be, it could be another card here. Well, the video referee, he's having a look at this. And they'll wonder whether Gildar is on his way to the ground, but I, I, no, I think... I think Donaldson's, it's hard to defend that. So this James. is going to be a sim binning. James! James Donaldson! Now, this is James an interesting one, there, because when we please. met the officials, yeah. they said that when a player was tackled and got to the ground, right, that is not a through. mitigating factor for the next player in. And head. Ben Thaler, we've just heard that the there, said... But there is mitigation with a falling player, which brings it down to 10 minutes in the sim bin. It's 10 minutes in it the bin. It is 10 minutes yeah. in the bin, but again, some will say that is a contradiction of what we were told pre-season. Pre well, James Donaldson sees a yellow card, and it's very difficult to argue with that. Well, many people will be sat at home and within the game probably have a debate in a case for both a red or a yellow but I think I think Jack Smith's got that right What's up, mate? Oh, so James up, Donaldson is in the bin <laughs> Jess Litton with a chance here right, 20 meters me out so nudge the Robins in front Don't sound the hooter, heavy. Don't sound the hooter. He'll be right as he kicks it. Here comes the kick. The roar will tell you everything. The flight throws go off in the background, and Jess Litton has taken up the mantle. Rod Smith looks on with a rueful grin on his face. Harry Newman got leads in front early on. But Soasso Sue's try and a couple of Jess Litton goals means at the break. It's Hulk R8, lead six. Mark Coyle, thank you. Never stopping until you find the right part at the right price. That's the eBay way. Let us see is what should be ours. Give the king whatever he wants. I'll leave the specifics to you. <laughs> I'm on no man's leash. Oh, you won't be in shackles, George. Well, unless you want to try that. <laughs> Can Klopp's Reds begin his farewell party in the perfect way? Or will Poch's Blues steal the show? 
the Carabao Cup Final, live on Sky Sports. Enjoy more of the latest blockbusters than anywhere else this spring on Sky Cinema. I created a world with no metahumans, and now there's no one to defend us. Let's get nuts. You have a choice between saving one person and saving everyone. Go fight for your family. Go fight for the world. They're all counting on us. No pressure. Get caught up in the action this spring on Sky Cinema. Oh, make sure you tune in on Saturday. We've got the 2024 World Club Challenge, the Super League champions, the Wigan Warriors, taking on the very best from the NRL, Ivan Cleary's Penrith Panthers. Three consecutive NRL titles for the Panthers. They'll put it all on the line at a sold-out DW Stadium on Saturday. Watch it with us, 7.30 p.m. on Sky Sports Action and Sky Sports Main Event. Our focus this evening is on the Betfred Super League. Round two has opened up here at Sewell Group, Craven Park, and the home side have a two-point lead over the visiting Leeds Rhinos. Both of these opened their seasons up with a win last weekend. Well, it's been a controversial first 40 minutes at uh, James Donaldson. Sinbinning very late in the first half. Questionable, to say the very least. Let's go to Jenna Brooks who is going to grab a couple of the captain's men we focused on before the game. Cam Smith of the Leeds Rhinos and Elliot Minchella of Hull KR. Jenna. Yeah, thanks very much, Ryan. Elliot, I saw on your way off you had a word with the ref, Jack Smith. What did you say? Uh, we just spoke about the speed of the rook. We want, to, we want to play fast and we, we thought we were getting our nodes through and we just want to quicken that rook up to uh, just had a word of him. But, uh, yeah, it's all about our discipline this second half. Keep the ball in play and then cut the errors out, I think, with the ball and we'll be all right. Elliot, thanks for talking to us. Good luck. Cam, just the second game that you've had to address your team at half-time, what was the message? Just spoke about being clean these first ten minutes. Obviously, we're a man down, so, uh, you know, we'll treat it a little bit differently as we're down the middle. Go get him. Thanks, Cam. So, teams out then for the second half here. We've heard from both the captains, Elliot Minchella, Wanting a quicker rook area for his side to work in. And for Leeds and Cam Smith, it's all about the first 10 minutes. See this period off when they're down to 12. Well, we saw in the first half, once Peter Hicku ended up in the bin, the Rhinos were able to score points. And for Willie Peters, he'll be looking to sort of flip that on its head and get after the Rhinos while they have that advantage of 13 on the field playing 12. And Elliot Minchella referenced errors and so far, OKR okay, have came up with seven. 14 made last week. Oh, oh the there there from yeah. the restart, a slip, and the pitch causes all sorts of problems here. Harry Newman, well, his studs let him down there, and the Robins will get the ball back from the restart. Yeah, he just slips on the banana skin 20 metres away. It goes over his head. And an opportunity here for Hull KR to strike first in this half mark. Well, they're inside the 10. What an opportunity for the Robins. As Litton comes across to the near side. All carried forward a couple of metres away here. Leading by two. Can they extend their advantage early on here? Short pass leads quickly off the line. Croft and Bentley do well. Smith... Looks like he's really got a bit shiner, doesn't split. he, Cameron Smith? There's a ball now back to centre field. Offload. Oh. Is that collected by Leeds? Or was it knocked down by Leeds? The referee says that it touched a defender's hand. It's James Bentley. Elliot Minchella does well here. Looks to promote the ball, and Bentley gets, just gets that right hand on it. The idea was right. Bentley just knocks that down. It's six more. Big chance here then. Litton again waits at the base of the scrum. Litton gets the ball away to May. He drops it back on the angle. Opacek will drive it forward. He stopped five metres out. Litton at dummy half. 
Gets the ball back in field. May just offloads it here. Stone carries it forward. Held! Release up! Well, Willie two. Peter said they were clunky last week. Goal two. Leave and it, they Find some cohesion here as they move, move across to this near in. side. Again, Square Croft is defensively oh, good with Ackers. Ball oh, carried forward. Suasso Su looking for a double. Held. You know, he likes scoring Release tries against forward. the Rhinos, but denied a couple of yards away. Lynn gets it away. Minchella moves it on to May. Little stab kick oh. through the line. Is it going to roll dead? Can Leeds get it dead? They will. Hanley. No time to hang around, knocks the ball dead, and it'll be a goal line dropout from the Rhinos. Yeah, neat kick there from Tyrell May. The width of the pass from Inchella, traveling laterally, just brings the left edge of the Rhinos up. And the space behind for Tyrell May just to slice a little delicious kick through. And that edge of the Rhinos taking no chances. And it looks like being a very good acquisition. Ball caught on the fall by Ryan Hall, he won't need a second invitation. Carries it forward, but he's well met again. Bentley and Newman doing the defensive work this time. Another set restart here. Oh, but the ball's gone forward, and Leeds celebrate. Like they've just got some points, but it was Kalepi Tangano who couldn't hang on to it. Yeah. You know, look, we're only round two in. If Willie Peters and his men are really going to want to crack that consistency of playoff football at the end of the year, then they have to make these periods of, of weight of possession count. Four sets in a row. And just come up with nothing in the end there. Poor drop from Tanganoa has a responsibility to hold that ball. Ball's in, ball's out. Well, you could argue that last week, the Robins were better against 13 of Hull than they were against 12. Mm, they didn't the really Italian. penetrate, did they? they? Had a lot of possession, but didn't really come up with anything. In fact, they came away a little bit disappointed. I thought they should have perhaps put more points on the board, Mark. Yeah, that's that's the point I agree with. All brought forward here. Three Good carry. Elliot off the ball. Go three. Andy Mead is a little bit harder to come by. Four. Determined carry Who's from the zone. He gets them up Square to the 40. Team. Well, now down this short side, Croft gets it away, Bentley's flick pass is beautiful, Newman now sidesteps his way in field, tries to break the line, gains another six metres, last one. Ackers, gets it to Smith, finds Frawley, they're going to put it through hands before Martin steps a kick through, there's a slip there at the back and it's pounced upon and Evans does well to get the ball back it's not a night for anything fancy is it? it's just get hold of the ball and secure possession at the moment yeah just the rhinos there just looking to move the ball first Held. before putting Release boot to come. ball two square Andy. Go two. And now levels he comes forward and has to retreat hard and the kick chase from the left edge just means that they trap him move 20 meters James. away square this time. Well, Leeds okay. have seen off the well, five again. or so minutes of Donaldson Simbin Ball, come off the ball. What a quick play of the ball here, and they're going to get a penalty because Hall wasn't allowed to regain his feet and he wasn't allowed to play. And we heard Elliot Minchella saying they want a quick play of the ball. Yeah, and we also heard Cam Smith talk about discipline and sport as a funny and cruel way. And when you say something, all of those words, and it's Cam Smith who gives the penalty away on Ryan Hall, and it's another good ball set. What are they able to do this time, though? Storton, he hits the 40-metre line. Well, there's Donaldson, just over three and a half minutes left for him in the bin. And we uh, put a poll out on social media, should Donaldson have been red-carded? Well, look, that couldn't be any, any closer, could it? 51% to 49%. Yeah, it also shows you that lots of people, experts as well, if you want to call them that, are uh, quite the sure on, themselves. Well, here's a chance for the Robins. Little step kick through the line was played at. Ball, did it go backwards? It's play on here. There could be a chance of Ryan Hall. Slides in the corner. Get a feeling Jack Smith will want to check this one. Looked like the kick was played out, but how did the ball get its way to Ryan Hall? We think it's a try. Jack Smith does.
Okay, we have a live column field of a try. We're going through from the kick first of all, so we can play it from here, please. And let's just go back, right back before this, to see how these players end up in front. So let's just go back. They're not lead runners, they're behind the men. So let's just play it from here. Right. And go back to that angle. So I need to go close on that. On that, please. Nice and slow from here. Oh, right, we need to go back. And nice and slow. So it does touch his hand. It goes backwards and hits his leg. And then he scoop backwards. Let's go back again just to make sure it does hit below the knee. So it's nice and slow on this. So it's touched his right hand. It then hits below his knee. So that's a kick. So that's play on. Slow four. Scoops the ball back. Flips it backwards. We're playing on from here. And we need to go in and look at the grounding. Thank you. I've now made my decision. So there we have it. Jack Smith's call on the field was a good one. Backed up by the video referee. And Ryan Hall is off and running in another Super League try scoring season for him. A nod of the head as he scores against his former club. And it's all of a sudden a six point lead. And Dolson's time in the sim bin is proving to be a costly one. Yeah, Cam Smith's penalty puts him in this field position. And they get a little bit lucky here as the ball comes back through with Tyrone May. He looks to thread the needle. And it's a ricochet off Bentley, batted back off the leg of himself as well. And Gildart's able to just come up with a gorgeous little tap on. This is a tough kick for Lytton. Strikes it pretty well. Well, there's your answer. Willie Peters, you found a new kicker in Jez Litton. Two from two for Ryan Hall. He goes over, he's seven tries away now from Danny Maguire's all-time Super League try scoring record. And we just see the Sky replay shows that the kick through and then the bat forward and Ryan Hall, he's just too good in those spaces. And he crosses, nods to Gildar, thank you very much, 14-6. Great little Ready, flick ball. pass from Gildar. Look at that, 233 tries for Leeds. Now he's scoring them against them. Deep kick is gathered on the full. And all of a sudden, the Robins have got a bit of breathing space. Yeah, but it's Three. not just a try Spice scoring up. record of Ryan Hall, it's his ability and his work throughout a backfield that separates him from most other wingers of this generation. And a penalty off the back of this. Bentley's involved again, just needs to get out of there. I think Suasso Su was getting stuck into him then, and Bentley didn't like it. Bentley it is who's given away the penalty. No, it's a little bit too long on the floor. And again, now Gildart, straight away in the blink of an eye. He's a metre or so away as he crawls forward to cross over. The halfway line, Staunton now, another 10 metre carry. The wave of momentum is back with the Robins. These are big moments here. Last few seconds of the Donaldson Simbin, and the Robins are putting it through the hands. Patchula on the end of it. Needed to go out the back there, Mark. 25 away, letting down the short side. May, lovely pass, gets it away. They're inside the 10. Leeds need to hang tough here. Or it could be a long way back for them. Short passes a slip from a defender. Ball unloaded. Oh, Great tackle, Akers. Smith involved as well. It had to be. Last okay. tackle. They've got an army of numbers to the left hand side. May gets it. Goes to Lewis. Had to leap and catch it as well to get the ball away. Here now is Gildar weaving his way in and out. Gets it back to Lewis, who's tackled. Flicks it away. Ball on the ground. Passed out wide. Here's Hall. Little kick played up by Leeds.
Oh, it's offside. And the referee here said that there is a Leeds player offside. Oh, yeah. Right, going from bad to worse. Harry Newman can't believe his luck. You know, they're in trouble, the Rhinos here. And the attack there from Hull KR, this left edge. Wonderful hands from Kalapi Tanganoa, keeping the ball alive. Looking to explore this short side once more. And we all thought for all money that Ryan Hall was just going to chip this over. Lewis Roberts knocks it forward and Harry Newman in the offside position. They look in trouble here, the Rhinos. Can they hang on? Can they survive this wave? George King back into the action. He's the decoy runner. Minchella carries it. He'd love to get one tonight for sure. Square Little Whites. Leeds trying to race off the line. May get it ever more involved in the game. Run back across the field here for Taganoa. Taganoa taking on the line. And he was dragged out by Donaldson, who's back out there now. 13 against 13. But Leeds are on the ropes here. Ahul Kear about to hit them flush on the chin and add to their lead. They'll go back to that far side. Mitchell, a little no, stab kick that, through. No, was that played up by Frawley? It wasn't. And the referee said Leeds can have the ball back. Yeah, well done, the Rhinos just surviving that set. I just thought for Hull KR, particularly when they moved this ball down to this left-hand side of the field, the lead runners, the timing was way off. And it doesn't really threat or stress the defensive right edge of the Rhinos. And when they move the ball to the left, it's Frawley who comes up with the answers. Interesting dynamic for Ron Smith. When does Jared O'Connor? Well, he's just answered my question because Jared O'Connor's just come onto the field now. Well, I thought the Rhinos looked better once he was introduced to the field against Salford last week. He's running game, but Akers is still out there as well. Yeah, interesting this. We'll see how this one unfolds as Croft. Kicks downfield, Hiku collects on the full, but on the 30, slips the ball away. The Robins counter-attacking, and they're just short of the halfway line on tackle one. Together. Ryan Hall didn't like Rebels. something that was in that tackle. He looks to the referee, gets his head down, plays the ball, Gildar, half a chance there, pokes Two his nose through. Now, There's O'Connor into the action defensively. There's Ryan Hall. Couple of big involvements for him in the past few minutes as Hull KR look to put pressure on the Rhinos. Ball now working across to that right hand side. Hiku into the line. Tackles made. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, yeah, there was a bit of a poke in the eye, I think, from Bentley more than anything. I don't think there was anything in that one. I think it was actually Ryan Hall's fen that just pushed him a bit away and Bentley slaps him in the face. Here's the angled run for Gildar, Second almost five, through. Yes. Petley and Croft are getting through a lot of work for Leeds on this edge. Last one, Lewis will float the kick high. Edgel has to turn, catches it, gets to ground quickly. He knew he was going to get hit hard if he stayed on his feet there. And May makes the tackle, but the Robins have got the Rhinos right where they want them. Yeah, just pegged down into this corner. Just asking Roberts now to try and come up with something, but he's met by solid defence. We saw those pictures last week over at the MKM Stadium. The whole KR, they were able to put numbers into tackles, restrict metres of FC in right moments within the game. And we're nearly heading towards 55 minutes in. And look at the metres that they're not able to make. And the Rhinos, they're kicking from inside of their own 30 through Frawley. 40, 40. Kick, but it's caught on the full by Hicko and again. The Robins are going to start Defender. just short of the halfway line. Well, it is the World Club Challenge weekend. We'll be looking back tonight, 10-15. The Saints down under the history makers. Produced by St. Helens. We go behind the scenes with the Red V as they went down under to beat the NRL Premiers, the Penrith Panthers. And you will see the World Club Challenge right here on Sky Sports. Wigan against Penrith. Saturday night, 7.30. We'll be there for all the build-up and all the action. And that promises to be an absolute blockbuster. Now, an error here from the Robins. Yeah, Tom Opacek comes up with his second error of the game. Slams the ball down in frustration. Just loses it there under attention of O'Connor and Sangare. Regathers it. But the referees have a none of it. Spots the error. 
That's a good spot that from Jack Smith. I think Willie really Peters will be thinking about that eight point lead. Will he be almost disappointed it's only eight or will he be happy? I think, I think he'll be okay. I think he'd like to be a, perhaps another try ahead considering the amount of possession they've had in the last 15 minutes. But you know, let's not forget the dominance of the Rhinos in the first half. So I think overall he'll be happy. You know, if he can go on and win, he'll know that there's much more improvement as most teams are going to feel that way given where we are in the season. But if he can win, perhaps not playing at his absolute best, well, that's a good sign of a sign Ten that's on the up. Yeah. Hold. Go for it. Zakas again, who's still operating in that dummy half position. All coming back with Martin, gets it towards the near side. Bentley, wrapped up just outside his own 40. Tagano is all over him. Ball down the short side here. Ball dropped back inside and nowhere to go. Yeah. To go. Lewis. Such, a, such a threat, Harry Newman, when he skirts back through the centre of the field and Mikey Lewis just doing ever so well just to take his legs away. Iku brings it forward. Release Justin once! Position somewhat different to those. Justin, Justin! He's used to at the Cowboys, but he has been in Super League before. Another blockbuster from Hall. These defenders skittled on the floor. And all of a sudden, the Robins are on a roll here. Lytton looking to expose some retreating defenders. Gets it away to Minchella. Short pass taken in. And it is who's wrapped up. 30 away. Leads at the moment. Just can't get out of their own half. King carries it forward. Sangari brings him to the ground. Last one coming up here. Lynn has got Lewis to his left. Lewis will get it now. He's going to float the kick. Edgel is back. Oh, he's done really well to take that because there was a, a Robbins player came flying into him and he still came up with a good. Yeah, it was Niall Evalds there just trying his best to get in his eye line. But I think he's done so, so well tonight for the Rhinos, Alfie Edgel. Apart from that error just before half time, which. Oh, now a here's a kick across field. This is great play from the Rhinos, and they are racing away now with Handling. He's got support, he might not need it. Shows the step and goes. What a wonderful try from the Leeds Rhinos. Penned in their own end. They produced a bit of magic. And Ash Handley, who raced the length of the field last week, has done it again this week. It's the only question. Is he onside? Jack Smith thinks he is. He just wants us all to be able to see it one more time. OK, we have a live call try on the field. We can pause it there and see they're all onside. So we can carry it on to the clean pickup. That's collected fine, so we can go now through to the grounding. Slow. Thank you. I have now made my decision. What a fantastic piece of rugby league that was. We were wondering how they were going to get out of their own end. That's how they get out of their own end. We're two weeks into the season, and Ash Hadley has scored two wonderful Leeds Rhinos tries. A fantastic score for Ash Hanley. You mentioned that wonder try that he scored last week. Well, that's right up there with them. And you can put it down to the wand of a boot that it was from Brody Croft. Wizardry at its best. He sees the space. It's so, so tight. And Ash Hanley's able to race away. Does well to fool the fullback. Breaks his ankles there. Steps back inside. And he's able to score. An important try in the context of this game, but all credit has to go to Brody Croft. Ash Hanley had to finish it, of course, but the vision and the quality in that kick, Mark, absolutely brilliant. Well, the kick as good as a pass, and this kick was just as good. Straight in front for Rhys Martin. And in the blink of an eye, the Rhinos are back within two. Just over a quarter of this one to go. 
Here's Sangare. Boots it forward. Will that inject new life into Leeds? They were on the ropes and they came out there Move. with a wonderful, wonderful try. What well, special players, Mark, just know what's needed in big moments in games. And Brody Croft, the former man of steel, was able to come up with an absolute peach of a kick. He was a man of skill there, wasn't he? Great kick, great catch, great try. And here's Akers now, all of a sudden leads are rumbling forward. Ball goes back to Frawley, high kick for Hiku to take, takes it nicely, but this time the Leeds chasers get to him. Off the ball, Paul! And I think that try there Paul, has just sort of ball. took the sting out of this crowd, hasn't it? Into enter the final quarter, Move and we're locked in at a two-point ball up. game. It's in the balance now, here's Hall, Bentley's there again. Stand. There you go. Jim, now. Jim. They're racing off the line. Oh, it's a penalty, they were too quick off the line. In fact, the markers weren't square, that's what the penalty's for. Look at that for a touch finder, the Robins are back. And they've got a bit of a problem in front of our very eyes here with Mikey Lewis going down, holding his back awkwardly. Oh, that was unusual. Let's see if we can pick up on that one as Tanganoa carries it forward. Here's Litton. So they're down to 12 momentarily. Lewis is back on his feet trying to make up in the play. King will take it. This is what happened. I just felt a pain in his hip or his back, and now an incorrect play of the ball. And this is what I was talking about, Mark, last week. Willie Peters bemoaned it. And again, we're just seeing a number of errors for the home side to the ninth one of the night. They have to fix that up. Some of the errors that they're making, though, it's just concentration. Lewis injury, if you like, will be a concern. Remember, no Jordan Abdul, no recognised backup halfback for the Robins. So that is a, I think, they keep an eye on. It's uh, Salford away next week for the Robins. And now the ball working its way across the field. There's a Leeds player down now in centre field as well as Leeds were gambling there. We're into the final quarter. It's Newman who's getting treatment. Tough old night. Tough conditions as well. More so underfoot than the weather conditions as Momorowski's wrapped up. Well, Leeds left it late last week at Headingley. Square up. Sonny plays the ball now. Here's Croft, gets it away to Smith. Smith probing as he does. Always a threat with Four. ball in hand. Move now! Square L! Ackers out of dummy half. Over the forward they go. James. Newman is back Square up on his feet. He's just making his go way five. into the attacking line. But they're going to go to the left now with Frawley, who hoists the kick. Hiku is back, takes it nicely, sets off, but I think Leeds will be pretty happy with that. They've got the Robins inside their own 20. Yeah, just what's needed from them at this stage of the game. Nothing fancy, just playing up tempo, asking the home side to come out of that right-hand side corner. And just really restrict the metres and try and get some momentum back in this game as Ryan Hall, he looks to carry hard once more. Go Reese Martin! You take now, Reese. Play the ball. Held! Release Brody! Wrapped up. Lewis is in at dummy half. Gets it away. He goes Suesu. Sue. Wrapped Held. up. Held! Five, release! Really. Play it now. On the fifth tackle. Lewis goes high. The chases are coming, mate. Was on his shoulder and a big <laughs> shot goes in there <laughs> on Edgel. Wow. Wasn't, it, wasn't it just? It's Corey Hall fresh onto the field and says, Get that into you. Very tall. Corey Hall, former Leeds player. But there is an error from the Robins. Ill discipline. 
Second effort, let's go, Matt. For once again, sorry, Matt, the youngster at the back taking another high quality kick and taking it, making it look so easy and comfortable. As they pill the incident and yeah, second effort from Upper Check. Yeah, yeah. Look, he knows, doesn't he? He knows he's getting smashed. He's got his eyes on the ball and he knows what's coming. And fair play, he never flinched. One thing he's doing, he's earning the trust from his teammates and Rowan Smith, knowing that if Lachlan Miller is injured or he's not quite operating as he should, then there's a pretty decent replacement there, Croft. Sidestepping his wife, and people maybe didn't see the start of the game. Lockie Miller pulled out late due to illness, Edgill not even in the squad. Starts oh. at fullback, quick hands, but was it a forward pass? I think it was. It yeah. was a forward pass from Lasoni. It's one thing I do like watching middles playing with one another and the Sony there, Jared O'Connor just doesn't quite get the end timing right and Lasoni, he can't help, the pass is too tempting for him. It's a forward pass. The possession's turned over once more. Two-point ball game. Two Super League points on offer here. Two teams who both won last week. Leeds, remember, 2019, the last time they won their opening two games in the Super League. This year, the first time in the Super League era that the Robins have finished above Leeds, and they'll be hoping to do so again this season. Short pass there. Finds Sue. Held! Release, calm! Two. Kept all going. Play it now, didn't it? Injury hit first year here. That's a good tackle. Stand up, James! Turned away by Ackers, who's well over 40 tackles in this game so far. Andy Ackers. He's a workhorse, that's for sure. Slow play of the ball, six again. Minchella happy with that. May gets it away. Inside the 20, is that a big moment Hold. in this game? Release. Jess Litton. One. Oh, oh, one. Just clean it up, Sam. All centre field now. On the angle. Whitford already Move looks to be a good recruit, doesn't he, from yeah. Wakefield. Ten away. Short pass here. They've got bodies in motion. Oh. Was it a great it's tackle? It's Lissoni. Who's gone high here? Well, he had to get everything into that one. <laughs> The deception from Minchella as he goes to the line, he sells it with his eyes. Reese Martin bites it, and Lasoni is committed to say the least. The little show and go from Minchella. I don't think it's what, yeah, I think it's a little bit lower. He does catch him on the head, it is a penalty. I don't think there's any real kind of force in there. It's the first contact. Well, mind you, on that angle, yeah. <laughs> so Ben Thaler is looking at this. Yeah. Okay, mate. So it looks like a yellow yeah. card for Sam, Sam Lissoni. Sam. Sam Lissoni. Dangerous contact, Sam. but not high Sam. force. Yeah, it's those last pictures there. On the replay, that just show as he does catch him in the head. And Jack yeah, Smith now is going to produce a card head. of some decolor. No, no, what is it? Talk. It's forceful and dangerous, but in our opinion, it is low end force, which is the only mitigating factor. For that reason, it's 10 minutes in the sim bin. Well, there you go. Low end force. Yeah. It's another yellow card. Well, well, that you? As it was live, I didn't think there was enough force in there, but of course, when you show the other angle and you slow it down you can see that Lasoni does catch him it's this one here and Minchella though creates that opportunity through his ability he's hit the he's hit a short lead a number of times and has been able to throw the ball out the back to the second line of attack and that option he just shows and goes catches one round the head and Jez Litton two from two so far Sorry, three from three. You're yeah. doing him a disservice, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be hoping it'll be four from four in a moment. 
and a four-point lead. And this is a, the, the, he was warming up from this position earlier on, so he knows what this kick looks and feels like. And he comes forward, and the cheer will tell you after the goal-kicking woes across the city last week. The Robins have found a new maestro from the kicking team. Four from four, and a four-point lead with 13 to go, but Leeds playing the majority of the final 13 minutes, down to 12. Yeah, I'm sure I've found the goal-kicking maestro in Jez Litton, four from four. His only other goal conversion has been once when he was at Doncaster. Well, tonight he's answered the question for Willie Peters. And with four points left in 12 minutes, there is time still for the Rhinos, there's no doubt about that. But with Lasoni in the bin, it makes it incredibly difficult. I can't remember too many times where the Rhinos have had play the balls down in Hulk IR's 20 in the second half. And for the Robins, they just need to get through these sets now, put the ball into corners and see this game through. Now, Matt. Short of the halfway oh. line. Go third, Matt Frawley. No play. Looking the way over afford, afford. centre field. O'Connor with a tackle. Oh. I think Leeds Jared. have got a bit of a conundrum with Akers and O'Connor. Both on the field at the moment. There's a little kick in behind for the Robins. They're turning them around. and It goes in a touch. I almost think that... The Robins would have been happy if that had stayed in the field of play because they would have pen leads right back in their own 20. Yeah, but a fantastic end to a set after points. Just through the middle third of the field, just carrying hard and direct. And the Tyrone mate. Just showing his quality there to just roll the ball over. And just challenge the Rhinos for hard carries themselves to come away from the other end of the field and put pressure back on their opposition. But the home side have been pretty solid once again defensively tonight. Leeds looking to bring the ball off their own 20. Smith will never stop trying and get some good post contact meters. That's a really good run. Well, we saw a moment of brilliance, didn't we, with a kick that led to Ash Hanley's try. Leeds might well need something like that. Croft, oh, what a pick up from Bentley. Bentley gets it away. That was touched by Robin. And they'll get it back. That was so unfortunate. What a catch from Bentley. And now what's happened here? Now there's a penalty. There's some dissent here. And I think it's the Leeds captain, Cameron Smith, who's questioned Jack Smith. And he said, I'm not having any of that. Well, again, I'll go back to what you said at half time about discipline. And he's come up with this now, the second big penalty. But what a pass from Brody Croft. What a pick up from Bentley. Croft under pressure from Sue. And it's Corey Hall who just gets the last ditch left palm to him. It shows that four point lead is a precarious one despite the fact that Leeds are a player down. Sonny in the bin. Another try for the Robin Solwood. Wrap things up here. Litton gets it away. Ball offloaded, carried right, forward, man. another good carry again from Whitbread. Crawls the last metre, Litton waits, Litton will get it away. Here now is Minchella, turns the ball back on the inside, little kick through, the Robins to win it! The Robins to win it! Try under the post! Referee wants to check it, but Hulkar celebrate! Hickel, it was who pounces on the loose ball! Try in the red and white of Hawkinson Rovers, and that looks like it. Two from two incoming. Well, what a brilliant score that was, given the time on the clock. A beautiful switch of play, Tyrone May. He skirts back, tracks back through the middle of the field. There's Jess Litton there, Michella to May. A beautiful, gorgeous soft kick. And Hiku just using all his experience in the world to outcompete the youngster at fullback for the Rhinos and just gets the ball down. And that there you would imagine, look what it means to Peters. You'd imagine that's game set and match. Hiku in the Sydney early on tonight, but off the naughty set now to surely. Surely give the Robins a round two win. Just letting right in front.
to open up a 10-point lead here. We mentioned Tyrone May earlier on. He really has had this game in his hand, hasn't he? He's been the key man tonight. Yeah, he's out. Look, there was lots of talk about this around Brody Croft and Mikey Lewis, but it's Tyrone May who's just gone about his business tonight like such a smooth operator. And what a piece of brilliance from him, that kick through the chase from Hiku. Sensational stuff. And it's a dagger through the heart of the Rhinos. And with this man goal kicking, we'll just add another two. Took his time. And slots over another goal. There is May. And it was his kick that led to the try. Yeah, pre-planned move, a switch of play. And all good fullbacks, they just find a way of popping up at the right moment. And Peter Hiku, delight Bachelor in there too. And boy, do they know that's a huge score. Hiku, one of the off season recruits. They're going short leads, they're going short, and the ball goes into touch. Well, that went ten, you know. Yeah, it's it's that's ten, what the referee's back. saying. It went yeah. back, so Leeds are going to get the ball back here. Turnover in the middle of the field. Well, if they did get an instant response, in. go, maybe the outcome of this game is go, not go, go. quite as cut and dried as we would have thought. Here is uh, Leon Rowan on off the bench. Move, Jesse! Just his fifth go appearance. Enjoy. Scored against Rovers in a pre-season game. Yeah. Here come the Rhinos then. Well, it's at this point now, it's scoreboard pressure for the Rhinos. They need to come up with 10 points. And they have to come up with them very, very soon. It's the first of six games. Remember, every game in the Super League live on Sky. We've got the World Club Challenge as well on Saturday night. Verdict Wednesday at 3.30. Move, Jesse! Ten Jay away Wilson. here, the Rhinos. Well, who knows? They might not be done yet. Croft has it. Pops a pass off. Rowan, a strong runner. Last He's tackled tackle. a couple yeah, of metres away. Last tackle. tackle Which Square. way will they go? Five. They're going to that left-hand side. They're going to put the kick through. Frawley with a kick. And they're oh, there. Hiku oh, is there. Oh, He'll be caught in goal, but he's not oh, too bothered about that. The first job was to catch that ball and make it safe. Yeah, intelligent kick there from Frawley. And just an acceleration of speed from Hiku. Just to deny Reese Martin, who looked in a great position. Peter Hiku just catches that ball, just needs a bit more time off the clock. Mikey Lewis just had a look up there at the shot clock behind the post. Big crowd in here, remember? The Robins, record number of season memberships sold this season. Great to see. Great start to the Super League, certainly on the terraces. That's what we want as players, Mark, when you're out there. You feel that big, passionate crowds. It was great to see. Yeah, see it. Sakare leads. Need to score, you feel, here. Frawley gets it away. Smith will run at his opposite number. Michella brings him down. Square L. Six again, back to the ball. Quick play of the ball here. Chance on the angle, Frawley gets it away, but they're coming back towards the post. Harry Newman screaming for it off the bottom of your screen. He wants it to come this way, and he's going to get his wish. That's the way they're going now with Crop, but the ball turned back. Edgel will take them on up the middle. Leeds need to maybe probe out wide. Remember, they are still a player down with Lasoni in the bin. Now they'll move it to... Reese Martin, he's wrapped up five away. Time and the scoreboard against Leeds at the moment. There's a ball now to Smith. Now they might have an opportunity. Croft gets it to Newman. Great defence on Newman. Flick pass. Roberts puts it down, but it will play on. But Leeds lose ground. Hold. Go. Still a couple of tackles left. That was a not the best pass. Smith did well to pick that up. And this could be it, this could be the game right here. If the Robins can deal with this play from the Rhinos, 
They're nearly there, but they're running it through the hands. Ball goes underground. The Robins survive. Opacek collects it. And it will be two from two, and now a penalty yeah. to compound Leeds Wolves. And Hulkear can start to celebrate this one. It's going to be win number two, and the unbeaten start continues for Willie Peters. And a huge tick in the box as well for the Robins defensively tonight. I think they've answered everything that the Rhinos have perhaps thrown at them. The second half, the, the middle part of the defence of the field, and up towards the Rhinos' his goal line has been exceptional. The Rhinos haven't had too many opportunities in the second half. You cast your mind back to the two tries that they've scored. One was a wonder kick from Brody Croft. That can happen to anybody, but really, this Robins outfit have only been broken down once structurally with Harry Newman's first try. I think Willie Peters will be delighted with that. The other part of the game, that's probably the easiest part, I think, Mark, for a coach to fix up the attacking prowess. But defensively, they've answered and they've came out on top. Have indeed. Mentioned that they go to Salford next week. All KR leads, we've got Catalan at home. Well, now five metres off the line. Is there one more score left? Last tackle, they're trying to pinch one from close in. The tackle wasn't completed. There might still be a chance here. Little kick in behind, and it's shoveled dead. Bobarovsky it was who got fingertips on it. Couldn't do anything else. Well, they've had a couple of decent kicks tonight, Tyro May. And this time it's Menchella. It just opens, opens up, sorry, a different threat in attack. So often see Minchella playing smart with his hands and his ball movement, but on that occasion he shows he can do the full package. Yeah, quality loose forward. You get the feeling he's still on the improve as well. He's currently one of the best loose forwards that we've got here in the Super League for mine. Yeah, plays tough but got the skill to back it up. Here is Litton out a dummy half. Thought he was going to kick, gives it to Lewis. Lewis takes it, he might get his own pass back here. No, he won't. The ball was knocked down by Leeds. And that's more seconds off the clock. And he's done that switch play a number of times. We saw it last week for the Robins. The home side have just been able to change angles and challenge defenders through the middle of the field. The last try for Hiku, they came up trumps with it. And Akers just has to knock that ball forward from Mikey Lewis. But is there a chance and is the time, crucially, for Hull KR just to put the cherry on the cake and send this huge crowd home delighted tonight? Yeah, well, they scored 22 last week. Will they end on 22 tonight, or will they improve on that? Willie Peters will be delighted, his side have only conceded two tries in the opening two games so far. One of those was a world-class effort from Ash Hanley. Almost undefendable, the kick from Croft. Sometimes you've got to doff your cap to your opponent, and that was one of those occasions as Aiden his tackle, gets the ball away now. Is there one more score? May thinks about the play kick on, again. On, Akers catches it. Offloads it straight to Lynn. That'll be play on. Lynn's got it. He's thinking about the kick. Now he stands. Now he ducks First under tackle. one. Move, well, Leeds can't Just buy a bit of look at the moment. Hold. Maybe time for two Wait. tackles. And May's calling for it down the short side. I'm not sure they're in that much of a rush. But they'll fire it wide here for Gildar. And Gildar is going to be wrapped up. The countdown is on here. And a big start. They did play on there, but the referee, I thought, had blown his whistle. And I think the referee has blown his whistle. And Mikey Lewis' try will be chalked off. Well, he's cheeky as ever, Lewis. It's handshakes all round. A couple of moments of controversy, but Willie Peters' side have got the job done. They were behind early on, but they sneaked in front. 8 6 at the break. And tries for Ryan Hall and Peter Hiku. And that Ash Hadley's 90 metre special was in vain. And a big start for Hull KR. They're two from two. And it smiles all round here at Sewell Group Craven Park. Leeds have been seen off here. It ends Hull Kingston Rovers 22, Leeds Rhinos 12. Mark Kyle, thank you very much. Four competition points, and we are.
barely seven days into the new season. What a start for Willie Peters and the Robins. They have certainly picked up from where they left off in 2023. Yeah, I thought it was a mesmerizing game in very difficult conditions. The pitch was so heavy, but I thought both sides delivered. And I thought the game had everything. Some high quality finishing. Ash Handler's try in particular was just stunning. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but some defensive mistakes from Leeds and discipline might just have cost them there in the end. Jen Jenna touched on the conditions, and it's probably worth noting very difficult underfoot, icy cold winds. 